Welcome back to another Rising of the Shield Hero review. Today is episode 25, the finale. Ooh. Yes. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Cash Talk. As always, Logan's an anime viewer only. I've read the manga, and we're going to discuss the episode and get our scores at the end. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. So, yeah, we got him. Now, Fumi, soloing glass here in the beginning while the others go to fight the others. You know, he finds out that, well, she's weak to the solar shield, which is like one of the three shields he uses anyway. Or four. <laughs> he uses that, <laughs> ray shield, the dogs, and then the airstrike shield. Okay, there's no other shield. <laughs> and she is the fan hero. Right. So, Scythe beats shield. Fan loses to shield. <laughs> yes, I'm surprised... Uh... Glass wasn't just like, you know, uh, Lark, you fight him. Because, you know, you're pretty much perfectly built to fight the shield hero. So why not just fight him? Yeah. Uh, and now Fumi doesn't want to kill her. Is what he kind of goes off. He's like, let's just not do it. I don't know if he's trying to look for some other way for them to resolve things. Yeah. Or he he can't handle killing somebody. Yeah, because he seems to be at like uh, a moral conflict because... Obviously, now Fumi and useless people were brought in to save this world. But uh, Glass and company are also part of a different world where they... They are also finding waves. It's interesting. Their world doesn't have heroes going to their worlds. It's weird that Glasses have to come to theirs. Right. But like the she, now Fumi and them don't have to go to the other world. Right. It's like... Hmm. I guess it's kind of interesting, but I will say Glass feels much weaker than before. Because, like, when we first saw Glass, she was like, oh, damn, she's this badass, going to be pretty hard to beat. And then this episode. You know what the other heroes are saying? That overpower shield. I get I, It's literally must be the best item ever to be ever in that world. Because it literally... It will... definitely seems like it. <laughs> right, like it's... What's its no, weakness? He's a rain shield and he's a whooping ass out there. Right, like... what's its weakness? Because you'd think, oh, it's weakness, it can't attack. Well, they can! <laughs> it's well, a shield that can... <laughs> you, you can't hurt him. What's better he's... than a tank that can do infinite damage? All right, and he has plenty of one-shot moves, you know? He's the Iron Maiden, he has the raid shield... Uh, blood sacrifice, blood which sacrifice. he was going to use, but wasn't able to. Because uh, he got interrupted, but... Yeah, and obviously we see him kind of like doubting himself about wanting to protect the world. He's like, why do I even want to protect this world? This world's been not kind to me. Right. <laughs> and Glass looks like she cares a lot about her world. So it's like, which is more fair? It's like her being able to save her world or me saving this world. Right. And it's uh... Obviously, at the end, he comes to terms with he wants to protect the world because of his party. <laughs> Uh, that's... <laughs> what? I mean, I guess that's one reason, but but they uh, like you said last week or whatever. The... Oh, it's they're just gonna fight, leave. They get her drunk. Yeah, that was kind of the lamest ending to a fight, but we'll we'll go with it. Yeah, they all just leave, and then they leave the island too. Even though double XP is still going on. <laughs> He doesn't care about that. He doesn't care about the XP anymore. He's like, oh, we're high enough level at this yeah, point. Yeah, he cares. He has the shield. Uh, he can beat anybody. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, he goes off. He's like, you know what? It's time to recruit more people. Can and I just like, say it was a? I, sorry, this is real quick. No, it's not even super important, but it was funny how the queen was like, "We all did it." I was like, "Did we? Did we all do?" I think the shield hero and team did it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel like she did that just to right, you raise, know, like, keep, keep morale and spirits and stuff. Was, <laughs> we did it. She even later when talking about him, he says, yeah, they're useless. <laughs> they're, they are, which it's like the show acknowledges how actually useless the others are, but just keeps them that for, way. For some reason, it just wants it that way. But yeah, now he's like, I don't need to recruit more people because if I die or whatever, you're our only hope or you're the world's only hope. It's like, First of all, you die. They're not going to be able to save the world anyway. But <laughs> right. then 
there's just gonna be another shield hero. So right. What does it matter? If, if you die, another shield hero will still show up. So, if all of them die, at least, that's like, yeah, well, yeah. And I mean, you're dying. The others are probably already dead, or they're dying. If so, the shield so. hero dies, obviously the world's over because the others are worse than Roth Talia when it comes to fighting. So, yeah. But of course, we pick up a new party member, Lacia, who got kicked out of the Bow Heroes party. Wow. Or uh, breaking something or whatever. A new female companion. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> the bow hero seems like a dickhead. <laughs> like he just seems it's like, like a... they all do. <laughs> I know. At, at least the sword hero is like least dickish, I guess. Yeah. The sword hero is just know. obnoxious and annoying, but the bow hero just seems like an asshole straight up. <laughs> like, like oh, you broke something. You're out of my party. Right? You're clumsy. It's like me. Uh, to be honest, you're completely clumsy. Yeah, you probably wouldn't be in my adventure part. <laughs> you're breaking valuable stuff like constantly. And be like, all right, you're out. It's like, but yeah. Uh, so he takes her in because his goal is to basically make her strong and prove the bow hero wrong. Sure. Let's, you know, let, let's just keep this whole thing going the whole time forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we go back to Raptalia's home. Now Fumi has been deemed lord of the area, so he can make his base and build an army. I don't know how he's going to find time to do that, considering he has to go from wave to wave, <laughs> right, getting like... XP and going across the world. Everywhere. We still have other countries he was supposed to go to forever ago. but He's just, you know, taking a break, I guess, chilling. Yeah, and of course we get the whole scene with Raptalia kind of scared that he'll leave or whatever. It's like, yeah, it, whether he dies or whatever, he's going to have to go back home. I mean, unless he decides he wants to, unless he gets the choice when they win. Right. Um, Raptalia's character has definitely become one dimensional, just being obs obsessed with Naofumi, it seems, which is kind of. Um, it's not too interesting, I guess you could say. Yeah, because we've already gone over this from previous episodes. It's just <laughs> right. It seems like every thing few, over and over. Right, yeah. every few episodes we got like Rothalia has to remind us how like she cares so much about Naofumi and she won't know what to do without him, and Naofumi reassures her all this stuff. It's like, right, we we understand that. I wish she yeah, was yeah. more than that as a <laughs> like she's a strong fighter and then she's obsessed with Naofumi. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, the characters overall kind of suck after this, I think, like, at the I end mean, of the day. Yeah. Like, I now think Fumi is kind of a good character. Right? I would say, but I like, think now Fumi... Outside, <laughs> they're all really weak characters. Like, Philo is a weak-ass character. She's just Philo's hungry like... all the time. And kicks, okay? Like... <laughs> Hungry and cake. She's literally a baby. <laughs> like, yeah, the care. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. Now, Fumi's like the only character with some depth, and then the rest are just what you see is what you get. Like, the King, he's trash. He'll forever be trash. Mine, she's a bitch. She'll always be a bitch. Spear Hero's an idiot. He'll always be an idiot. Bow Hero's an asshole. He's always a like. It's like okay, <laughs> yes, these these are very face value characters that don't ever change yeah and you know episode ends with the flags and a lot of yada but i feel like still episode 21 was a better finale than this episode yeah like because it we spent first of all they go to leaf they came back they never left and now they're making a home base there right it's like, like it, it was so like, it's so strange and now they're on their adventure <laughs> <laughs> again all right that's how it did it. it ended it almost ended like you know what we might not get a season two that's how to it be honest if there is a season two i don't know if i'll fucking care <laughs> that's how it ended though it's like oh shit we didn't get approval for season two that's how the indie felt but yeah it, it's so it, what is arguably a bigger conflict like you know the whole glasses team versus now, Fumi's team is an interesting concept, like how they're both fighting for different sides and have their own personal reasons. That was crammed into, like, one episode, like, episode eight or nine, 
and then these two episodes. But, you know, <laughs> all the heroes not working together and all this other stuff was like 20 episodes. It's like, I feel like we have our priorities of story mixed up here. Like, I feel like this should have been the main focus because that would have been more interesting. But whatever. It, it, it yeah. It should have, the season should have ended four episodes ago. And this could have been season two, if there's a season two. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I don't know how many people are going to, like, stick through this to season two, to be honest. Like, Right. It just, I don't know. But, up for the scores? Sure. Uh, I'll give it. Oh. Because episode 21 was a better season finale, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to give this a four. Okay. Tops. Okay. Might be a little high. To me, like, again, yeah, this has got glass drunk. That's how the fight ends, I guess. Uh, granted, there was only a minute left on the timer, so it would have been a stale out anyway. But, I mean, I guess that's kind of interesting. That we have these two worlds fighting each other. Well, one's fighting the other world. The other world's just fighting itself, protecting itself, I guess. I don't know how that got determined in the bylaws. But, again, like, the characters are just kind of one-dimensional. We go through some of the same stuff over and over. <clears throat> and episode 21 was a better season. Yeah, I agree. Uh, four, four and a half. Four and a half is probably what I give this season in total. Anyway, to be <laughs> honest. Like, yeah. that's how it felt, like... Is because it started off kind of strong, started off interesting, and then it just kind of really yeah nose dive. I'd say it just kind of the quality definitely went down as it, the further it went on. Twenty one was definitely a better ending. Uh, this one just kind of felt shoehorned in there. It's so weird because you think because after watching twenty one, you're like, okay, they're gonna end it on a big ass cliffhanger to get us to watch season two. No, they just end it similar similarly to how we ended episode twenty one. Right, it's like our adventure will continue. It's like, why? Did, what did you even do that? But it's it's whatever. Yeah, the only interesting part this episode is how you mentioned like the two you know worlds fighting. It was kind of interesting that now Fumi had a brief you know struggle with morality, but that lasted like two seconds so it doesn't really mean much anyway he's like you know what my party loves this world therefore i do too <laughs> right and then he's like let's get her drunk and we beat her got him all right now i'm gonna make a home base got him let's do this together and Ra raftalia was like please don't leave and then that was the episode <laughs> yeah as if we haven't heard her say that to him before many times right so right but yeah it it kind of just ended up like a um, regular old isekai like you know travel to a different world all this stuff yeah had the harem all that stuff <laughs> <laughs> we yeah I had the new girl <laughs> but yeah uh definitely i will say i would not watch season two personally <laughs> i don't know uh, yeah they i read I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm like about to drop it. It's kind of dragging on too now in the manga. So yeah, it, it definitely was not adapted too well. The pace seemed weird. To be fair, it's just, <laughs> it's not mediocre anyway. I just read it because I was already reading it. I was like, I tend to commit to things like you know, I'm already I reading. Must finish. It comes out every so often. It's like 30 seconds to read the chapter. Why not, right? So it's like right. No, I feel you. Uh, That's it. Uh, that's it. That's Shield Hero. Spiel time. As always, hit that like, subscribe. Let us know what you thought about the season as a whole, even this episode, whatever. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> until next time, peace out. See ya.